All right. So the summer of 2014 was very hot. Uh, Europe and the rest of the world were looking with concern on the growing conflict in the eastern Ukraine. Poland was breathing and living the scandal happened in this restaurant. And people in buses and trams were talking about how we once again lost in Eurovision, this time to Birded Woman. Uh, according to U.S. experts, this summer was the hottest in 130 years. And it was equally hot in Virtualna Polska. Uh, it was near the, the end of the summer when we launched our new homepage, um, our, our completely new homepage. It was the 1st of September. Uh, but if you think that my today's story ends on the date of implementation, I have a surprise for you, because the most important things happened later. So let me tell you a story about looking for answers. In uh, around uh, 2014, uh, the Pol Polish internet went through two, major, two ma major shifts. The first one was that Virtualna Polska and Odwa uh, combined forces um, establishing one of the establishing, it doesn't work. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, Virtualna Polska and Odwa joined forces uh, establishing Virtualna Polska Group, which is now the, uh, the biggest um, online media company in Poland. The second great uh, consolidation happened one year earlier. Onet was acquired by Ringer Axel Springer. And the race uh, for leadership on the Polish internet has just started. And in, uh, at Virtualna Polska, we knew that in order to become a leader, we need to show Poles that we are making a new start with a new blood coursing in our veins. And we knew for sure that our competitors are working on their own offensive. So if we are late, we will have much worse place in this leadership race. So it was the end of June when we set ourselves a bold and risky goal we decided to run a huge marketing campaign on the 1st of September that will let all the polls know that there is something fresh and new on the market. Yeah, but to do this, we needed to be credible. We needed to show the start of the change. And what's the better way to start a change than by changing the most important page in the whole website, in the whole group? I mean, the home page. And a few words of explanation here, because Mm, Portal's homepage is the intersection, is the meeting point for three powerful sources. The first one is big traffic, the second one is money, and the third one, conflicting interest. Traffic, because Virtualna Polska, uh, Virtualna Polska's homepage is visited monthly by 10 million of, of uh, Poles who are generating more than 650, 650 million of page views. On a standard day, users on the site generate more than 300 of thousands of clicks each hour. Money, because for each of uh, the four largest Polish portals, the homepage is the key revenue line, representing 20 up to even 40% of the of entire businesses of these companies. And third, conflicting interest, because homepage is also the source of 90% uh, of traffic to the portal vertical services like news, sports, finance, and so on. So product managers of these verticals websites are fighting like lions for the exposure on the, uh, on the homepage. And so do sales managers, because, because for them, every pixel of the homepage is representing additional chance for additional budgets. So, uh, actually, Portal's homepage is like, you know, super heated pressure cooker of conflicting interest. And we decided to heat the atmosphere up even more. We decided to change everything in just two months. But let me be clear here, because our case is not a textbook example. And I should probably say, don't try it at home, because usually portals change in very different way. 
by evolution, often unnoticed by standard users. And such changes are very safe because they are um, tested for many days before they are made available for all users. And behind, behind me you can see examples from, from BBC, from New York Times, from uh, Amazon, and even an example from our Polish market. This is the pre previous Fuck, 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 previous redesign of, this is not the previous redesign of Onet, but okay, there was a previous redesign of Onet. Uh, okay, it's completely disaster, but okay. Um, it was previous uh, redesign of Onet, our main competitor, main competitor, so evolution. And of course we knew this. Of course we knew this, but sometimes you just don't have that kind of convenience. We didn't. We had just two months. And when your window of opportunity is that narrow, with only one chance to make it work, you have no alternative. You fly or die. And we wanted to fly. So we kicked it off. We kicked it off and we, we started working on this project following Agile development methodology. The work group consisted of almost uh, of leaders of nearly all the, uh, the departments of the organization because any change to homepage affected the entire company. Um, the whole team were meeting uh, on a daily basis. We organized 51 such meetings in general, uh, plus dozens of others in smaller ad hoc groups, which is double that number. Um, we drew the first line uh, of our uh, first line of this project in Aksher on the 29th of June, but it wasn't very similar to uh, to, to how how our final project looked. But check for yourselves. Uh, the project went through na almost 80 iterations. Um, several graphic designers were working on it simultaneously. In consequence, our programmers and webmasters were working on constantly transforming project. We didn't even try to create specifications or documentation because it was pointless. Um, some elements of the site uh, had changed twice a day because something designed in the morning no longer seemed that attractive by the end of the day. Uh, so change was, our, well, in, during these two months, change was imminent feature of our every work day. We were so used to it that when I personally changed the central element of the homepage, I mean the main topic, uh, just in few hours left to the launch, our programmers said just like, yeah, well, we'll do it. And it's pretty weird if you know how usually developers react to sudden changes, right? Uh, but yeah, we were, we were working like crazy. And example, mobile version. Now, the whole mobile version was created from the scratch in just 20 hours, with all nuances like uh, typography, breakpoints, responsiveness, uh, uh, JavaScript transformation, and the logic behind behavior of the particular elements, without any single line drawn in any UX or graphic design program. All it takes was a bunch of paper, fair dose of mathematics, and very good uh, graphic designer and excellent webmaster. It was like a real-life ha hackathon. And in the same time, our UX specialist went out to meet our users. We didn't have much time to organize stationary user testing, so we decided to use quicker methodology, ambush guerrilla user testing, something its creator, Andy Budd, presented on the same conference that I am speaking to you today. But to refresh your memory, um, this is a methodology that involves testing uh, prototypes in the street by highly spontaneous interviews with, uh, on the, on, in places like uh, coffee shops, department stores, or uh, shopping malls. So, and in fact, one of our UX designers uh, decided to mix business with pleasure, and that's how we conducted uh, our first user test on the beaches in Sopot and Gdańsk. Uh, we didn't have much to show at this time, so we decided to test our old site. And on, at the end of each interview, we asked our interviewees a question, how would you describe Virtualna Polska as if it were a human being? And uh, let's show what they say, what they said. As you can see, guy in his late 30s, guy with no, guy with no style, old stiff. And this was the moment when we started to ask ourselves, what will they say when we ask them the same question after we launch a new homepage? 
In other words, are we going into the right direction? And I'm speaking about these dapts because we knew exactly what kind of revolution are we going to make there. Because the new homepage almost completely changed the long-established behavior and long-established way of exploring the websites, for the, 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 the website, the homepage of Virtualna Polska. Uh, for example, the division into the right uh, news section and the left magazine section was completely replaced by horizontal topic sections. We decided to replace the sea of blue links with a grid of photographs and vi vibrant colors. To the current 20 photos on the side, we decided to add another few hundred. And we wanted not only to change uh, the editorial part of the homepage, but also uh, dimensions, formats, and location of, all, of almost any, uh, of almost all uh, advertising product on the site. And of course, we were trying to limit our potential risk of error. That's why with coming beta versions, uh, we, conduct, we were conducting um, another ad hoc user tests. We, in total, we ran four such series. Uh, we also managed to do some A-B tests on our old site, so we tested the most controversial elements that we were going to implement into the final project. So this gave us the peace of mind that on the 1st of September, we, we, our company will not go bankrupt and, we'll, and we will not lose our jobs. But we still had many questions that we simply couldn't answer within this two months period. Let me give you an example. We had a uh, Few, very, we, had, we had many concepts for right column, but, but which will be working best? With mini pictures, without them, with blue links or with black? Uh, what about navigation? Um, fewer links, more links, links on the left, links on the right? What about the left column with the, with the, with the pictures or without them? Um, but, well, there came the launch date. And all these questions remained unanswered. On the 1st of September 2014, we launched a completely new, new homepage of Virtualna Polska. And champagne bottles opened, joy filled the corridors. And well, we were successful. We launched a new homepage, we ran a huge marketing campaign, and almost everybody was talking about us, mostly in a very positive way. So this was, this, uh, this was possibly the moment that we could have stopped, ticked that box, and uh, start a new chapter. But a sense of uncertainty kept bothering us. What about all these questions that we didn't answer? Uh, it seemed that some parameters of, this, of the new site could have been higher if we could only knew what to change. The questions that we asked ourselves before, uh, before the launch were now, now joined by the new ones. But the most important question was, could our page be better? And that's where the real fun started. Because in the middle of September, we started to actively and passionately f looking for answers. We verified hypothesis after hypothesis um, by uh, multivariant A-B tests. In fact, by the end of the month, we, uh, we accomplished 10 such, uh, such tests. One of our hypotheses under investigation was concerned about the right column. We found out that our initial decision, the red one, uh, had been wrong. One of these variants proved to be far more better, uh, increasing the overall um, conversion rate of the homepage by several percent. And in our, at our scale, this is huge. So we quickly implemented it and immediately saw imp uh, improvement in our parameters. And it was like a drug, you know, short moment to prepare a test, short waiting time, and <laughs> real perceptible change. So we, get hooked, uh, we got hooked very quickly and started testing right and left. And um, actually this process of, uh, this process of uh, looking for answers sometimes gave us surprising results. For example, we, we found this out when we were testing um, the structure of photo tiles, the basic building, uh, basic building element of, the, um, of our homepage. Our hypothesis here was that um, the, current, the current version, the red one, is probably not that easy to read. 
so we developed few, uh, several variants with uh, backgrounds and change fonts. Uh, but it, w it seemed absolutely super logical that the variant with uh, solid background will be working best, right? How very wrong. The best proof to be the variant with changed font. Uh, equally surprising was one of the latest tests. We haven't even implemented it yet, uh, but we were testing nine different headers. But I will show you just three, three variants. Uh, I won't tell you which one won, but you can find it on your own in just a few days when you open wp.pl. Uh, but we found something very interesting in that test. The most popular element here is mail icon. Um, this is the icon that is clicked, by, that, is, uh, that uh, tens of thousands of users click uh, every day. And uh, in the current header, the position of the mail icon is always next to the search bar. But in this free variants, we changed the location of the mail icon. And what the test showed? Well, it showed that the element, that the element positioned in the previous location of the email icon here, in any given variant, generate, was generating the most clicks. So it means that users use this element just by their memory. They click in the familiar location, not noticing that both icon and the title had changed. As you can see, tests like this can teach us much more than many books or some speech by a guy at the UX, UX conference, right? And well, we are looking, uh, we are looking for, for answers, stating hypotheses and verifying them for seven months now. We introduced 60, uh, 60 smaller and bigger improvements to our homepage, and each month we test dozens of new variants. Uh, so we continuously search for better solutions, but is it worth the trouble? Let me show you a graph that uh, illustrates how the CTR of uh, our homepage changed since the implementation of our new homepage. And I am proud of this slide because it shows that our painstaking work succeeded in increasing our, our, our basic conversion parameters parameter by 20%. But we also achieved something more, something, mm, so, something more. We achieved amazing source of knowledge, because every such A-B tests uh, adds some, some new ingredient to our secret sauce. And that's how we build our competitive advantage. That, because, thanks to it, we know more and faster than our competitors, and believe me, this value is priceless. But I bet you are also wondering if we are satisfied with the um, whole redesign in general. And of course I could tell you a great deal about how well it was received by media houses, how, our cust how satisfied our customers are, or how various parameters have grown. But business is all about money, right? So let me show you just one figure. And this figure rep represents year-to-year -year increase in revenues from advertising on the homepage. And this number is 100%. So I encourage you not to be satisfied with your initial ideas, even if you are already implemented them. Explore your own hypotheses, seek answers, challenge your judgment, always, keep, always dig deeper than the others, and it will yield you a, a notion of knowledge, and your pride will swell. And, and it doesn't have to be A-B tests or focus groups. The point is to always question your own decision, to always verify hypothesis after hypothesis, even those that look illogical at the first sight. The tenacious search for answers is a feature of every good UX designer, product manager, and entrepreneur. So keep looking for answers. It's worth it. Thank you.